Hey, it's the weekend. Yay. <laughs> it kind of seems like, I don't know, the weekend is here sooner than it should be probably because of the holiday earlier in the week. Got us all off track. So first up tonight, uh, we're going to do, of course, our nightly random. Before we do the nightly random, let's take a look at who is already in our customer appreciation break via our other nightly randoms from this month. So, of course, if you, if you haven't done a break with me before, um, I have a, a random, a nightly random winner, and that person advances on to a special customer appreciation break. That this particular one, it will be all of our nightly random winners in July, uh, we'll have a special break on August the 5th at 6 o'clock Eastern. Doesn't cost you anything to be in that break, but the only way to get in it is via our nightly random. So the way that works is we take everyone who is in any of the breaks tonight and we put you in to random.org and then random.org selects somebody to be our lucky uh, nightly winner. And I'm still used to doing this at the end of the break. I did this at the end of the break forever and I moved it up to the front not too awfully long ago, probably, I don't know, a week or 10 days ago. And I still can't quite get used to having it at the front of the break. But I will eventually. St. Louis Crazy 2007, you are our winner tonight. So congrats, St. Louis Crazy. You are in for Lucky You 3. And just remember, of course, that that will take place on Saturday, August the 6th at 6 p.m. You don't have to be there uh, when the break happens. However, it's more fun if you are there because I sometimes offer some extra little things if you happen to be hanging out there in the room at the time. So here's what's happening right now. We are getting ready to break uh, a couple of things actually. We've got a full-size football helmet. We've got a mini football helmet. And then we have a half, or no, a full case. Tonight is a full case of uh, 2017 Tops Tier 1 Baseball. And I know that's sitting in the same spot right there, and I apologize. I need to scroll down this. Uh, I'm tr the iPad, of course, naturally, the iPad's acting crazy tonight. So I was just trying to get chat up, which it isn't up yet. So... First up, 2017 Hit Parade autographed full-size football helmet. This particular one is Series 6, and that just came out today. This is break number 14, meaning the 14th time that we have broken a 2017 Hit Parade full-size autographed helmet. You will see a couple things in there that are marked unpaid. Uh, anything that is marked as unpaid just means that the team was sold, but payment did not come in in time for me to finalize it on the spreadsheet however if you take care of the payment i will take care of getting to you whatever whatever you may pull so if you haven't sent in your payment yet on that auction or any other please please do take care of that i would appreciate it this particular series of uh Helmets has a lot of Steelers in it as potential pulls. You know, they don't ever give us the full checklist, but they tease us with uh, a few names and a few pictures and things. Uh, pictures. Pictures. You can tell I've been watching baseball. A few pictures and names. So we kind of have an idea of who's in there, and it always uh, makes me kind of uh, antsy when there's a lot of Steelers because, of course, I want to pull the Steelers. But tonight, we don't have the Steelers. Tonight, we have the Indianapolis Colts. And that is an Eric Dickerson signature. So the Colts have our full-size helmet tonight with the Eric Dickerson autograph. And somewhere in here, there it is. You'll see your COA is actually tucked in there behind the little ear pad, which is where I will leave it. That will ship in the Hit Parade carrying bag that you saw there, that it came in, that drawstring bag. 
but it will not ship in the box that it came in because that box is not suitable for uh, shipping without going inside of a, another box, which would be humongous. So I will put it in a different box, but you will get your drawstring bag. Next up is one 2017 Leaf autographed mini football helmet. So we've gone from the full size to the mini. And this is the seventh time we have broken a 17 Leaf autograph mini helmet. And once again, same format as before, you'll see the team names on one side and our team free bonus rights owners across from it. That was a mouthful. And of course the unpaid teams, same story as before. As long as you take care of getting payment to me, I will send you anything that you may pull. And Leaf pretty much always has good stuff. I mean, there are many helmets, there are full-size helmets actually coming out in a week or 10 days. Uh, their jerseys, all the Leaf stuff I'm always really pleased with. Not that I'm not pleased with the other stuff. Oh, this is a really nice one because <laughs> I am pleased with the other stuff too. But you're going to see why I like Leaf here in just a hot second because, yeah, you want to know which Titan that is? Oh, boom, it's Marcus Mariota. Yeah, that's making uh, somebody pretty happy with the Marcus Mariota autographed uh, mini helmet coming out of the leaf break. So nice, nice hit for the Titans. So the Colts had a, had a nice uh, hit on the full-size helmet, and the Titans just tore it up with the Marcus Mariota on the mini helmet. That was really nice. Oh, hi, Bobby. You are very welcome for that Colts helmet. Uh, Shipping-wise, see, this is what happens. I move the random to the front, and then I always forget to talk about the shipping, which is where I would have normally talked about the shipping. Um, <laughs> Shipping-wise, the stuff that we break tonight, I anticipate will go out on Tuesday. If I can get it to you sooner, I absolutely will. But I have a little bit of a backlog. Whoops. I have a little bit of a backlog because of some issues that I had with... Uh, receiving the wrong shipping envelopes and finally still don't have the right ones but I have some replacement ones that I found somewhere else so we've got a bunch of stuff out today and hopefully we'll continue to get caught up over the weekend and maybe can can get it to you sooner than Tuesday. So this is a full case 12 boxes of 2017 Topps Tier 1 Baseball. It's full case break. Third time that we have broken 2017 Topps Tier 1 and same format. You'll see the team and then your name and lights right across from it as the winning bidder. And of course, uh, I think I recognize, maybe not everybody in there, but most everybody I recognize in there. So you guys know uh, I'm a big fan of Tier 1, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to get in, into this case and see what we can find. We certainly found some very nice stuff out of the first case that we broke into. And we have quite a few more to go. Uh, I have a few more listed as full case, and then I'll probably uh, list another another case in halves, and then we'll probably go back to full case again after that. So when you're bidding, just make sure always that you look, of course, at the quantity in the title and the description. It will always say, you know, half case, full case, and, and, and the number of boxes. So just because sometimes I do bounce around back and forth because, you know, sometimes it's hard when you're talking about, uh, especially with the prices that the Yankees and some of these teams bring these days, sometimes it's hard to get in the game on full case. So I will do some as half to, uh, to let people have a shot at that. Because, you know, it's kind of it's frustrating if you're trying to get a team and it always goes so high that you can't ever get it so sometimes you know you put it down to a half case make it a little more affordable and you can get into some of the newer products that way so i mix and match some then of course next week we have stadium club coming out which believe it or not like i didn't order a lot of stadium club i'm sure you can believe that part but um <laughs> The, the believe it or not part is that uh, 
you know, I kind of just, I got a little bit and I thought, well, you know, I don't need to have tons of stadium clubs sitting around here. We'll get a little bit in and then I'll order some more after we break the first. A stadium club is, you know, not one that normally is sold out well in advance, but yeah, it's sold out well in advance. <laughs> So, crazy. We're going to have a couple of cases of it, and I guess that'll be it. I'm sure that someone will, uh, someone will likely have it again on release day. They'll just charge a zillion times more money for it. That's the way that stuff always goes. But we will have a few cases of it to bust into nonetheless. It comes out on Wednesday. I will not start opening it on Wednesday. I will probably start opening it on Thursday. Maybe Friday, but probably Thursday. Oh, and you know what else comes out? I forgot about this, too. On um, Wednesday, if you like the memorabilia, the Onyx Clubhouse Collection comes out on Wednesday. So I'll probably break some of that on Thursday, too. And those are the game-used uh, batting gloves. And they look to be pretty cool. It was a very limited edition. Mr. Aaron Judge is part of it. And I'll have to find the full checklist to look at the rest of it. But anyway, we're taking a look at maybe. So first up, Zach Greinecke to, to, does that say 3, 331, to 331. <laughs> For the Diamondbacks, he's pitching right now against my Cincinnati Reds. And I think, actually, one of the last plays I saw, our pitcher beamed him right in the arm when he was batting, which wasn't good. Mark Mulder for the A's to 300. Blake Snell to 300 for the Rays. I guess we didn't take a look at the back of that, did we? We need to probably flip those over. Every once in a while, you'll find one that has ink or something strange on the back where they've stacked them up, you know, while they're still damp after they signed them. And if anyone has any problems with focus or anything, please let me know. I don't leave it on, on autofocus. I do manually adjust it. So if it happens to be off tonight or any given night, just jump into chat and let me know and I will adjust it. Carlos Gonzalez to 331. For the Rockies and this is our hot pack because we have uh, we have four hits in here to an extra relic so this is our hot pack for the case Matt Carpenter to 331 for the Cardinals yeah Matt wasn't playing all that well today I use him a lot in the online games I play but he wasn't playing he was he didn't have very many points the last time I looked at him today drew Pomerantz for the Red Sox to 200. And a redemption coming out for Jeremy Hazelbaker. And we will go to the checklist to verify that for the end of the break. So we're going to set this over here to remind me to do that. And if anybody ever wants a one touch for anything that I pull, just send me a message on eBay. Happy to always do that just at my cost. And then, you know, whatever PayPal charges you to receive it. But that's, you know, basically, again, cost. So Robert Gelman to 331 for the Mets. Hopefully we're going to pull some stuff nice enough that you will want one. Corey Seager. We have been pulling a lot of Corey Seager out of Tier 1. I'm pulling a lot of nice Corey Seager out of Tier 1. This is numbered 230 with a piece of bat and then of course the sticker auto up there at the top we pulled a nice Seeger patch out of the last case to 10 and I got so excited by the patch that I didn't even mention the autograph somebody told me later <laughs> but I get really excited by a nice patch <laughs> here's David Dahl for the Rockies to 140 Oh, my goodness. Sorry, that just slid right out of that pack before I intended it to, but everything landed on the mat, and I'm just going to, we're just going to double check the edges of everything. I think we're all 
good. I don't think anything went anywhere. But I always like to double check if something like that uh, happens. Detroit Tigers, JT Martinez to 331. That's a nice patch as well. And that is to 25 on the AJ Reed. That, of course, uh, sticker auto and patch. Hunter Renfro for the Padres to 200. Mr. Hunter Renfro seems to show up in most things that we open these days out of 2017. For the Nationals, Steven Strasburg to 331. Got another redemption. Oh, Rod Carew, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We pulled another Rod Carew. I thought it was out of Tier 1 that he was in an Angels uniform as opposed to the Twins uniform. Maybe it was not out of Tier 1 because it wasn't a redemption. It was a physical card. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. We'll, we'll head to the checklist. Tyler Austin for the Yankees to 300. Meanwhile, the Yankees are going, we want Aaron Judge. I know you do. We're going to try to find you an Aaron Judge. For the Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr., nice. Big, uh, I'm a big Ken Griffey Jr. fan. That is to 200. Jason Hayward to 25 for the Cubbies with the nice gold ink signature there. Another A.J. Reed for the Astros to 300. E.J. Reed kind of night. Guys are being really surprisingly quiet in chat over there. Will Myers to 331 for the Padres. Roy Oswalt for the Astros to 200. Might have it. Looks like there is a little bit of um, chipping and edge wear, uh, particularly noticeable on the back of the Oswalt down there along that bottom edge. Hopefully, you can see it. Uh, if I get it at the right angle, you can get a look at it. And that's, you know, we're going to find that on cards right out of the pack, unfortunately. But when I do notice them, I point it out. Sometimes you may see it and I may not point it out. But that is to 150 for the White Sox on Carson Fulmer. It definitely is more noticeable when you have a darker color, of course, than when you have a lighter color along the edges of a card. Astros are doing well tonight. Here's another hit for them. 331 on the Alex Bregman. So the Astros are tearing it up at the moment. Nice Jose Canseco for the A's to 300. And again, I see on this one, we've got kind of the same thing. We've got a little bit of chipping and edge kind of uh, edge issues right down here on that kind of bottom part. Trying to get it where you can see it maybe a little bit from that direction. Luke, Weave, uh, blah, blah, blah. Luke Weaver to 200 for the Cardinals. So cards are also having a nice break tonight. Dustin Pedroa for the Red Sox to 331. Oh, that's really nice for the Pirates uh, with the Starling Mart or Marte, whichever way you're supposed to say it, to 10. Um, that is really nice card with the silver ink, of course. And, you know, maybe again, just the tiniest little bit of kind of chipping an edge where down there on that bottom uh, corner and those bottom edges, but nice hit to 10 for the Pirates. Ryan Healy to 25 for the A's.
Hi, Marty. Um, you know what? I don't think I've seen any Braves so far. You might be right about that. Um, but you know, I will still send you something. Even if, you're, if your team doesn't pull anything, I will still send you something. Look at that coming out for the Rockies. That is nice. Uh, that is 7 of 10. And that is just a, well, it's a jumbo patch. <laughs> that is very literally what it is. So that's really a nice little hit there for the Rockies with the Arenado jumbo patch numbered to 10. Pretty sweet. Familia for the Mets to 300. And that one definitely has uh, an issue down here on that lower left corner. I feel pretty sure you can see that one. There's big big piece of white uh, you can see down there on the back of this one. Ramel Tapia for the Rockies. That's a lot of Rockies coming out, it seems like. That is to 200. Tapia has been playing pretty well, too, so nice little hit for the Rockies. Mike Piazza to 200 for the Mets. Got a little bit of a pinstripe there. Justin Verlander for the Tigers to 331. Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies to 75. It's a nice little hit for the Cubs. And once again, we've got corner and edge issues with some chipping and stuff going on. I don't know what's going on with all these tonight that they uh, seem to be a little more so than normal on the back with the tops cards tonight. Tracy Thompson for the Dodgers to 300. And this is our last pack. We will go through all these again. I mean, there's no base. It's all hits. But we will uh, we will go through them all again and review them once we go to the checklist and verify our redemption. So if you miss something or you want to get a second look at something, hang tight. We will go through them again. For the Cubs, Ben Zobrist to 331. For the Indians, that's a nice patch. Uh, Corey Kluber to 25. Um, actually, you've got couple things going on down a couple of patches but I was looking of course at the one at the bottom because you got the nice two colors with the red it's got to be part of the logo or the name or a letter whatever whatever I'm trying to say there Adam Duvall hey my reds get a hit Adam Duvall to 300 and once again I see all kinds of uh Chipping and edge issues, same same places. Those bottom bottom edges and corners, maybe even a little bit in the upper uh, left of this one as well. And then Jarrell Cotton to 300 for the A's. So we need to go to the checklist and deal with Rod Carew and Hazel Baker, because of course Carew could go one of two places. He could. Uh, he could end up with the Twins. He could end up with the Angels. So let's see where he's supposed to go. All right. This is what? Tier 1 Autograph Copper Ink Parallel. All right. Bear with me while I... Track this down. Has anyone seen, I'm uh, just curious, if anyone's seen any of the bat knobs come out yet? I haven't myself, but I'm guessing somebody probably has. Good grief, why can... How many things are on this checklist? How am I not seeing this? Oh, there we go. All right, T, T1A RCA. 
All right, that is for the angels, uh, the Rod Carew in the angels uniform for that redemption, or at least in the angels on the checklist. So I'm going to assume he's going to be in the angels uniform. And then our breakout autograph, um, and that is, ah, tag on it. <laughs> Sorry, you know I hit the uh, I hit the wrong thing there. That is for the Diamondbacks, for the Hazel Baker. And you guys may have been saying that in chat, but of course I could not. Uh, I couldn't see chat because I was using the iPad to look this stuff up. <laughs> All right, so Diamondbacks for Hazel Baker. Rod Carew headed to the Angels. Then let's review everything else that we pulled. We're just going to run through it. We're not going to look necessarily at the... Well, I guess we can look at the backs again. There's really no... There's no reason not to. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the front and back of everything again for anyone who might have missed it. Oh, Robert. Yeah, the Yankees, you know, this was not... Uh, a not... A lot of hits in here for the Yankees. The one is really all I'm thinking of right at the moment, which is kind of unusual. But as you know, it, unfortunately, there's always some teams that that walk off uh, with. There's some some teams that walk off with nothing. So it's better to to at least get a hit, which I think the Yankees do have at least a hit. But yeah, it's just the luck of the draw, right? I mean they. Seems like it's sink or swim sometimes. They either have 20 of a team in there or they have none of a team in there. Although tonight there were there was a decent representation in terms of numbers of teams, but I would always prefer for everybody to get some sort of hit. But again, if you didn't pull anything, if you pulled literally no cards, I will still send you something. So you'll still get, still get something in the mail. I like that Ken Griffey Jr. And this wasn't overloaded with Mets either. Sometimes, honestly, you'll you'll find uh, just a tremendous amount of Mets. But this this actually, I mean, yes, definitely some teams had multiple hits. But this is reasonably well randomized. I mean, I've seen, I've definitely seen it with less random randomization, if you will. I've definitely seen them come out with what feels like every card coming out for one of two or three teams. So at least we have the majority of teams with some, some representation in here. Not every team, but a lot of them. And the hits that we did pull are nice ones, so that that's uh, that's always good too. I say that, and then there is another Met, but I, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of the products where you pull out like, well, for instance, at a museum collection, you know, it's like every other card it seemed like was uh, Noah Syndergaard coming out of museum collection. It was crazy. I don't know how many of you uh, tried to find any of the Bowman Platinum, but boy, that was uh, that was a joke. That was insane. Not every store got it, apparently, number one. And then the stores that did get it got two boxes of, of the, what they call the value box or whatever, the ones that had uh, the guaranteed autographs in it with the, the one with the $70 price point. Yeah. If they got it at all, they got two boxes. Like, insanity. So who knows what those will even sell for on eBay. They'll probably be going for a zillion dollars. Only thing I found were a couple little blaster boxes. I tried to round some up because I thought it'd be fun for us to break them, but all I found were some blasters. I opened one of them myself, and I did get a hit out of it, actually. I got an autograph hit out of one of the blasters. I was surprised uh, because it was numbered to 25, and it was, a, it was, I'd say, probably the top prospect in the Brewers 
farm system. So, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with that. Anyway, that's the whole break for tonight, guys. And once again, I will try to get this stuff out to you as quickly as I can right now. I'm projecting that it will be Tuesday. And if I can get caught up and get it to you faster, I certainly will. As always, thank you so much. I appreciate you very much. I hope that I will see you again on another break. I break almost every night, and I list new things uh, to break almost every night. So always something fun going on. Thanks a lot. You have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you soon.